Hey everybody, Scour Link here. Welcome back to another episode of Kick Chris Uprising. Last time we met up with that, or we finished up chapter two, Magnus of the Dark Lord. Yeah, we fought Dark Lord Gal and we did it. First we got it over to retreat. Anyway, before we get started with chapter three, I want to show you my gear. I am using the insight staff. Yes, we've used blades. We've used bows, but we have not used a staff yet. And then I actually have two new powers in. So we have, um, um, health recovery, the most pointless one ever, celestial firework, um, whoops, um, land mime, and poison foes with attacks. I have also poison attacks. Yeah. Nothing new. But anyway, I'm about that. Let's go on to chapter three. Heads of the Huge Draw. Okay, good. I can try this at seven. I. Wow! I can only go what? Like, I'm like point one short of going to chap like 9.0. I might go in at white hot. This is gonna be so stupid. But you know what? No, I'm crazy. We gotta do this. Make it at least challenging. What's the matter? Medusa has brought the fight to our realm. Her forces are invading Skyworld. She must be getting back at us for taking down Dark Lord Gal. Medusa's venom knows no bounds, but I know you can stop her underworld army. Sure have a lot of faith in me, Lady Valentina. Yes, we can. We can do it. Just kill them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Enemies will hurt a lot. A lot. Oh, hey, it's Metro. Oh, Jesus Christ. I will not die in the flying section at the very least. If I'm going to die, I want to die at the ground. Can I mention how awesome music is in this game? Let me just take a listen. God dang it, I died! Curses! Well, that was, that was fun. Let's continuous while we're on our way to heat draw. Wow, really? Now well, they're pointless. Now this is funny. I like this. And now we're fighting huge draw already. Yeah, you never thought it was gonna be this easy. The three-headed dragon beast himself. He, the three-headed huge draw. We're gonna use our special attack. You basically have to destroy all the heads, or not? Well, at least two out of them. I already killed one of them. So honestly, it's good for my standards. We're gonna kill this blue one. Take care of that. Take care of that. That take us a lot. And that's that. Not so fast. Huge draw heads can live without a body. You better follow them. That means that those two heads that we chopped off, those are still alive. They're not dead. The underworld forces are retreating. Mission accomplished. Far from 
Alicia, yeah, this would be too easy then. And there we go. The chapter <laughs> yeah. begins. Well, it already technically began, but well, the lamb thing begins. You know what I mean? Jeez Louise. I'm impressed I didn't die twice. Maybe I am getting better at the beginning. Yeah. The people have all gone into hiding. But where did those huge go? They could be anywhere. We need to stop them before they wreak even more havoc. As you search for them, take out any underworld troops that cross your path. Oh yeah, see, there's, this level is one of a kind. It has two intensity gates. There's a poor one. Oh yeah, there's a souffle right there, nice. so, yeah. One of my least favorite enemies. They're kind of e they're pretty easy to dodge, but they you catch they catch you off guard and you're screwed. You just gotta take care of the head. You gotta, just gotta make an effort. Dodge. That's pretty much all there is to it. I got a melon doll. I got this scrumptious cookie. Oh, there's an apple. But of course, it's a trap. That's what makes use of this poison shot. Make you poison, mister. You're dead now. Remember, Pit, you have to use melee attacks to take down tomatoes. They look like little Metroids, actually. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals. At least I can edit still. Jeez. Um, I was really interrupted by friends who called me. It's okay. Honestly, most of the time it's my fault. I normally don't call them. But because th that's because no one is online. Honestly. Oh, by the way, you move really slow with staff. And they're not the... I'm honestly doing really good, honestly. And they're not the best thing ever. I'm not a staff user myself. I don't main staff. I'll probably just record for another five minutes in this second recording. There's a monolith. Oh boy. We just ignore you. Oh Jesus Christ! Where'd you go? You monster. I wanted to shoot your brains out. Oh. Oh Jesus Christ, that's a lot of baby snakes. That's a lot of snakes. Got this piece of meat on the ground. That's so good. And there's a chest behind here. We get tire claws. Okay, I might use claws next time then. Maybe a club. Oh yeah, you wanna kill these nice folks. I want to kill these nice folks. Because, you know. You want to kill them. And you get a key. Don't worry, this key is important to the life. To life. Watch out. That came out of nowhere. You're going to need help against 
surprise attacks like that. Go to the courtyard ahead and I'll grant you a gift. Really? That'd be great. That's an underworld moringa. Oh, can't take my eyes an off. Easy can. It's like easy. We eliminate that. That's every. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh Jesus Christ! I'm trying to end this thing's life. I used all my health for a couple of these too, so. There we go. Hoping there will be a drink of the gods. We're gonna need it. I'm ready for that gift now, Lady Palutena. All right then. Uh, what just happened? Do you like the gift? It's my patented monster pheromone. Monsters just love the smell of it. And now it's all over you. What? Are you trying to kill me? Why, hello, Angel. Oh my, hello, buddy. Luckily, the pheromone only attracted one of the heads. I was wondering what you would have done if both of them had shown up. Can you still with me with it? I would have been finished for sure. Despite my winsomeness and equanimity, I do have a strong streak of rascality. I don't even know what that means. Oh, please. I need to live. I don't want to die. Yeah! Whew, that was dicey. I don't think I'll be using the monster pheromone in the future. This is head. What I mean is that I will need to use it. Why do you say that? I located the other head. Let's go to the lake outside of town. Ah, oh, Jesus. There's an award. Thanks. It's a little clam thing. Have to destroy all three of its balls to survive in a world like this. Oh, baby. Okay. <gasps> I've never been able to do this. Holy crap. What do I get? I get a power. Oh, God. You got to me. Fight. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Have it, then. Man, this has been only good. All right, we're going to end things off here. So next time on Kid Icarus Uprising, we're going to hopefully finish the chapter three. Okay, guys, see you guys then.